So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate what happens if you have lost your MFA device. Um, I have already entered my password for my root account, um, but now I'm going to pretend that I don't have my MFA device with me. So what I do is I click on troubleshoot MFA. Um, if I still have my MFA device, I can try to resync it. Now, if I really lost my MFA, what I need to do is to, I need to sign in using an alternative vector. So as you can see, um, it is going to send a verification email to me first. So I'm going to do that. And in my account, I will receive this email that's um, requesting for my verification. So I need to verify my email address. It will, it will expire in 15 minutes. So I'm going to verify my email address. And the second authentication is that it will call you on the phone number that you registered when you sign up your root account. So now I'm going to have this um, authenticator call me. So when your phone rings, um, you will get a voice prompt to ask you to enter these codes. Services, please enter the PIN to verify your phone number. Your verification was successful. Thank you. So now after I enter the one-time verification code, now I can sign into my console um, with, without the MFA device, and now I can reset my MFA device, which is right here. And um, I can manage it by deleting and create a new one, or I can just um, resync this one and continue to use it. So that concludes my demo.